AC. Let's wait for that train whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the historic Greenfield Village and the Greenfield Village Railroad. For the safety of our younger riders, we ask that the adults that then place themselves on the outside of the row. If that's not practical, please hold them or have them easily in your reach. We're only going to have one stop today. That'll be at Susquehanna. The second stop at Smith Creek Depot is not operating right now. It's closed. We're renovating there. So we'll come back all the way around to here after we on the stop at Susquehanna. Remain seated, thank you. Our trip around the village will take approximately 30 minutes. Village is divided into historic districts. The Henry Ford Model T District is first on the left, as we can enjoy a ride on an authentic Model T to the interior of the village. This is Henry Ford's first place, the White Farmhouse. Built in 1861, he was born there in 1863. He moved to there in 1944 from three and a quarter miles away, which is now the corner of Ford Road and Greenfield Road. Main Street District is where the Wright Brothers Home and Cycle Shops are. They're authentic buildings coming to us from Dayton, Ohio. Built in the 1870s. You learn about the beginning of aviation there. Visit Mrs. Cohen's Millinery Shop in downtown Detroit, built about 1860. Next to her, the H.J. Hines Building, built in 1835 in Sharpsburg, Pennsylvania. And Sir John Bennett's Sweet Shop from London, England, all on Main Street. Behind the Ford Motor Company to the left is the loading dock for the Model T Rides. Works is the next historic district. Thomas Edison is credited with 1,093 U.S. patents. Many more from England, France, and Germany. But beyond the number of patents are the industries those patents have created, such as voice recording, video recording, power distribution, uh, electricity, of course, the name of you. The gold building is Sarah Jordan's boarding house. Many of the unmarried men who work for Edison at the lab live there. It's one of the first buildings in the United States wired for electricity. Next to Sarah Jordan is Edison's Fort Myers Florida Laboratory, the official one. And around the corner from it is the Luther Burbank Garden Office, the only building from the West Coast of the United States, built in 1906 in Santa Rosa, California. The 1832 Ashley Cover Bridge comes to us from Southwest Pennsylvania. This is Anson's Way in the Forces and Farmers District. Here you can visit historic homes such as Noah Webster's 1823 home from New Haven, Connecticut. We'll be making our only stop directly ahead here. This is Susquehanna Station. We'll be here for about four or five minutes before we take off for the rest of the round trip. If 
you want to get off here, wait for the whistle from the engineer. Once you hear the one mile whistle, that will indicate the air brake has been set, and then you can get off on the left, left side only. Remain seated for now. Please remain seated. We'll be departing in a moment.
that blast of steam coming out the left hand side is the process steam locomotives go through the first the boiler of any scale from the water. It's uh, referred to as a blowdown. Outside of Port Huron. The 
open uh, building on the left hand side of the new Detroit Central Market place. A lot of things will be happening there throughout the season. The large brick building is the Detroit Toledo in Milwaukee Roundhouse. Originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, about an hour and a half west of here. We were able to salvage some of that building. It was in disrepair, included in this one, and opened it up in the year 2000. We do all of our service, repair, and maintenance on our steam locomotives. It is not open for viewing as of yet. The, uh, I think the front doors are still open, at least one of them, where you can see inside and get a view of what's going on. The largest part of our working farms district will be on the right side as we complete the left turn up ahead. The Firestone Farm, built in 1828 in Columbiana County, Ohio, it is the birthplace and childhood home of Harry Firestone, the originator of the Tire and Rubber Company, a very good friend of Henry Ford. It's a working farm, seven and a half acres, year-round, and it's over the year. -round. It's over the year -round.